Michael Kramer, pleasure to meet you. You're the head of the Transport and Tourism Committee in the European Parliament. What are your goals and plans for 2015? The general goal of the European Union is to fight against climate change. And in this regard, transport is very important because without a change of mobility, we never will stop climate change because transport is responsible for 24% of all the CO2 emissions all over Europe. And if you compare what was done since 1990, we have a decrease of emission in the industry by 32% and in the transport sector an increase by 28%. So you can say the transport sector is nullifying all the efforts we have done with billions of euros of our taxpayers in other sectors. Therefore, without a change of mobility, we can't stop climate change, but that is necessary that our children and their children have a perspective to live on this planet. Therefore, we need the money for the right investing things, not for the big projects which will be finalized in 30, 40 or 50 years by 50 or 60 percent. So we have to come that Europe can be come together. And if we look on the railway network, that is a patchwork, and the borders are exactly there, and the gaps are exactly there where the borders are. So we have to bring Europe together we have to fight against climate change and, of course, that is our perspective for the next uh, decade. Those are all very commendable goals. It's interesting, and other people have commented, do you feel that that ties in with tourism? Tourism is very important because uh, it's not only for important for ecological reasons, also for economical reasons. But we know tourism can destroy tourism. Therefore, it must be sustainable. And for example, we are complaining, or tourism sectors are complaining, OK, it's a problem for us only for two or three months. But if you have sustainable tourism, for example, bicycle tourism, you can enlarge this period. For example, on the Baltic Sea coast, two or three months, you can take a bath in the Baltic Sea. But with a bike, you can ride your bike from March to till November. So you can enlarge this period and that is also good for econ economical reasons. Do you feel therefore that your plans are fully in line with the new Commission's plans for 2015 and beyond? Is that how you see it? Because the Commission plans is in general, you can't say yes or no. But we have to look very carefully what to do. For example, we have now 300 billion euros for investment. But to, to make a boring machine for 20 years through the Alps, you will not create jobs. But the investment part is for creating new jobs. Therefore, we have to look on those projects which can be finalized in a short time, which could be very much efficient, and of course, which could create new jobs. And that program, that we will look very, very carefully, that is necessary for Europe, for the jobs and for the people of Europe.